Here we are at problem 4D from our target two. We're asked to simplify the following using the distributive property. Uh, what we're gonna go ahead and do first is distribute this 2P into this first set of parentheses. So we have 2P times negative 4P. Two times negative four gives us negative eight. That P times that P gives us P squared. So for that first distribution, we end up with negative eight P squared. When we distribute that 2p then to the positive 6, we end up with plus 12p. So again, when we distribute that 2p into this first set of parentheses, we end up with negative 8p squared plus 12p. Um, really, when we're distributing this negative 5, uh, if we were to throw a plus symbol in between that minus symbol, we are not changing our problem in the least. And as a result, when we're distributing, we're gonna take that negative and apply it with the five. So we have negative five times positive two p squared. When we do that, we end up with negative 10 p squared. Negative five times positive three p comes out to be negative 15 p. And then negative five times negative 20 gives us positive, because negative times negative is a positive, 5 times 20 gives us a 100. Again, the reason why we would actually apply that negative with this number 5 is because it will actually make some of our signs much easier, and then that way we're not dealing with maybe like a negative negative later on. So that's really why we try and take that subtraction symbol and apply it to that number um, that it's right next to. Next, what we want to do is just go ahead and combine our like terms. Looking at the p squareds, it looks like there is negative 8 p squared, and we are subtracting 10 more p squareds. So again, going back to that credit card analogy, you owe $8, you owe another $10, then we owe a total of $18, or in this case, 18 p squareds. Then we can go ahead and combine our regular p's. So we have positive 12p and we're subtracting 15p. We would end up then with a total of negative 3p. And then nothing can be combined with this 100. So as a result, he just pretty much drops down. So we have plus 100. So then this would be our simplified version using that distributive property. Again, that is problem 14D from our target two.